falling down. down. It's, it's the Johnny O. Johnson Show. When everybody's screaming Jesus, hold it down. It's the Johnny O. Johnson Show on TFWI Radio. We got KB on the ones and twos. It is now time for our five-minute discussion. I don't know why I titled it that, man, to be honest with you. It's brought to you by Anthony King and Carl Stewart. That's right. He'll put you in a luxury ride. He'll do it today. All you got to do is give him a call. 214-356-8706. That's 214-356-8706. All right, KB, you ready for the five-minute discussion, man? Yes, sir. Uh, you already know. You know, back in, I guess, was it January? Yeah, it was January, New Year. Yeah, it was a New Year. We brought it in. We were talking about Deidre Hatton and, uh, you know, talking about his divorce and uh, to Demita Hatton and all, you know, what had happened. And so we had come to some sort of conclusions based upon that. And we said, you know, he had a baby. But, you know, everybody knows the story now. No need to talk about that. But I just want to say congratulations to him. Congratulations? Yeah. He's remarried now, man. He got married, uh, I believe, last Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Man, yeah. oh man. He tied the knot. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that they filmed this for the new reality show on Oxygen called Preachers of LA. Of course they did. You know she was talking about, hey, we need to get married. Yeah, she said that right on the show on the trailer. Yeah, on the trailer. So they definitely gotta be in that that TV yeah, show. I'm sure it is. So. They get boycotted with the show. A lot of people don't want the show to happen. They said that people don't want to see preachers riding around in Bentleys being and, glamorized. and being glamorized. It's, that's just not a good look for for, for preachers. So, um, Especially if your congregation is not uh, at that left of, level of wealth mm. and they riding around on a bus and you riding around on a Bentley while they paying their tithes. So. I don't agree with that, man, because, I mean, that's the case in all companies. I mean, the person at the head of Walmart is a billionaire. True. And they got people work for them. They CEO. And they, yeah. He's the CEO of his ministry. Hello? I don't think it works the same way, sir. <laughs> He's the CEO of his ministry, He's man. He's the CEO of that ministry, correct. That's right. Do you but want do you want your pastor running around in a beat up truck? Now I would like him to ride around on something that'll get him from point of Oh, point so you want your team. pastor in a regular car? If you if you get your pastor a Bentley it, it or get your pastor a a a Kia, nah, nah, which nah. one you gonna give him? You gonna give him the Bentley or the Kia? I'll give him a Hyundai. <laughs> Stop. But yeah, I'll give him. okay, all right. I see how you want to do your pastor. You want your pastor to be like you, you want you, you listen. If the pastor's running around in a Bentley, that's just what that is. He blasts. But it comes he, to the he point. He's going on revivals okay. all over the city and the country and, and at risk and stuff and praying and having to wake up in the middle of the night to go to, uh, to a hospital to pray for a family of two or three nights in a row. Come on, man. What's a shepherd? Yeah. Flock. Okay. A shepherd is supposed to take care of his flock. All right. If your flock is not doing well and you're doing extra well, a little bit way too well. That just don't look right. I don't agree with that one. That's what I'm Deidre, saying. congratulations, man, on your preacher of the L.A. reality show, man. Y'all going to be riding around in Bentleys and Benzes, living in big houses out there in Los Angeles and going to the beach and all of that. I'm pretty sure you're probably on your honeymoon right now. So put your feet in the water and just dip it in there and just keep it moving. Go for a swim. All right, we ain't mad at you, man. He ain't got to worry about that no more, so he, he real, real good. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he got that off his chest, and he's happy, man. But, you know, when he posted it on Facebook and Twitter, he got a whole bunch of people just coming at him the wrong way over that. Well, he's good. Now what they going to say now? What can you say to DJ now? He, he married his baby mama, yeah. and, and now he got his TV show. His church is going well. He got a CD coming out. What you going to say now? He got some deep. He's a human that deals with issues and things happening. He get That's life. They get upset about um, him being divorced in the first place. So you have people coming about what the Bible said about being divorced. Right. The then Bible got, doesn't endorse it. Then you got people that didn't even know that he was divorced from Demita. So they ask him, where's Demita? That's a sore time. Well, she's been quiet the whole time. Demita, so people want to hear from you, though. People want to hear from you, Demita. You need to say something. Okay? Isaac Kareem, they want to hear from you, too. I didn't say that. I was just with Isaac Kareem. We cool. I know enough. All right. It's the, it's the Antonio Johnson. It wraps up the five-minute discussion. 
That's KB. It ain't me. That's <laughs> KB. I'm not in there. What up, Isaac? You good with me? All right. We'll be back. More favorites.